Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on listing all of the files in a folder using Excel VBA. In this video, I'll show you how to build a module that you can call from a user form that will list all of the files in the same folder where this workbook resides. And it will ignore any folders in that folder. First, I want to show you what I have in place so far. I have this worksheet named data and there is a rectangle here and this rectangle is assigned to a macro. This macro is named open form and it opens the user form so that it can be displayed on this worksheet. I also have a dynamic named range. I can pull that up under the name manager in the formulas ribbon. It's named files and this dynamic named range has a formula that you can see displayed down here. So this will contain all the strings that are in column A. As you can see, this uses a combination of the count A function and the offset function. I'm going to move to the Visual Basic Editor. Alt F11 will bring me there. And you can see here, I already have a user form and it's named main and it has a label files a list box which is empty and a command button if I double click on the command button I can see the code behind it and it's just m1.list files so I have a module here which is empty m1 it just has list files but there's no code in it and this command button simply calls the list files subroutine. The code for opening the user form is under sheet one, the data sheet. And it's just sub open form main dot show and sub. This is called by that green rectangle on the worksheet. So now I'll get started building M1, module one, and we'll start by declaring the five variables that I'm going to need for this function. So I'm going to paste those in and you can see that I have object FSO as an object, object files as an object, object file as an object, string directory as a string, and R as a double. So next we're going to define string directory and it's equal to this workbook dot path. So this is why this will always pull the files from wherever this workbook is saved. And of course, one of the files that it's going to show is this workbook. Next, I'll set object FSO and object files. That'll be two lines of code. Object FSO, create object as scripting dot file system object and set object files equals object FSO dot get folder the string directory from up here dot files continuing on we're going to set R to equal one this is going to count the rows for us we're going to clear column A that way if there are any values in column A already they'll be deleted before the new values are inserted then we're going to set the cell with a row of 1 and a column of 2 to equal the number of files minus 1. And that's because this workbook being open is going to count as an object file. So that would make it appear as if there's one more file than there actually is. So specifically in this case, I know that this workbook is in a folder that has 145 files. I want the value in this cell to read 145, but it's going to count initially here 146 because of this Excel workbook being open. Next, I'm going to put in the for next loop that will continue to pull all of the file names until it runs out of files. And you can see here we have for each object file in object files. 
cells are one, so that's going to start with cell one, one, row one, column one. Cells R1 value equals the object file's name. And then in addition to that, main list box one is going to add that item so that it's displayed in this list box and on the worksheet. And then each time this cycles through, R will increase by one. And then to wrap up this module, I have on error resume next. And at the end here, on error go to zero. And in between, the object file is set to nothing. Object files is set to nothing. And the object file system object is set to nothing. So now we can test out this user form. I'm going to go back to the worksheet and open the user form with this green rectangle. I'm just going to move this down to the right and out of the way. So I'm going to click list files. And you can see that all of the files in this folder are listed, including this file itself. This one's named list files. And I see if I scroll down here, it is in the folder. If I scroll down to the end, you can see the indication that this file itself is open. So it's listed here and it's listed in the Excel worksheet, but it's not included in the count. There's 145 files in this folder, including the list files file, but not including the indicator that it's open. So using this user form, you can see all the files in the same folder where this workbook is located and you can see them on the worksheet and in this list box on the user form. I hope you found this video on listing files from a folder using Excel VBA to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.